It is Friday night, and that means high school football is finally here. Let's start with the defending Class 3A state champions, the Stewartville Tigers. <laughs> the Tigers hosted the Wasika Blue Jays tonight. Stewartville with the ball. High snap, handoff to Dylan Scanlon. And the ball comes loose. Carson Ownstead recovers it. It's Blue Jays' ball. The Tigers have an answer of their own. Blue Jays' own stat looking. And Tigers' Parker Wongen with the grab for the interception. It's Stewartville ball. But here we've got Blue Jays' own stat rainbow pass for Deron Russell. And he breaks defenders right there with the spin move and finds the end zone for the first touchdown of the game. The Tigers pull away, though, for the 24-6 victory over the Blue Jays. The Mayo Spartans kicked off against the Burnsville Blaze tonight. The Blaze start off strong with an interception right there by Demetrius Tucker in the first quarter, but the Spartans have an answer. Hand off to Isaiah Beal for the first touchdown of the game, and Mayo is threatening again. They find Jacob Canfield in the end zone right there, adding six more to the board. The Spartans dominate this one with the 58-22 victory over the Blaze. And the Caledonia Warriors hit the road to face the Lord Eagles. Lord Eagles Abe Lovely steps back, looks to pass, finds Max Peterson. Keeps a foot inbounds for a 15-yard gain. And the Warriors are threatening here. Ethan Stendhal's looking, finds Fisher Waite. He weaves. Defenders finding the end zone for a touchdown. Warriors are up 13 to nothing in the first half. An extra point here is blocked by Eagles' Ed Lovely. The Warriors got a convincing win, though, beating the Eagles 28 to nothing. And the Hayfield Vikings took on the Fillmore Central Falcons, a game honoring Falcons former coach Del Elston. Tonight with a whiteout, Vikings find Nolan Colander in the middle of the field for a first down. Falcons have the ball here. Bryden Ball rolls right. Vikings' Kale Steele has other plans with the interception. And then the Falcons have the ball back here. Ball is looking, tucks it, and turns on those wheels for the first touchdown of the night. Fillmore Central one big, knocking off Hayfield 48-6. And the Chatfield Gophers hosted the Red Wing Wingers. Gophers' Carson Rowland looks left. Finds Chase Johnston in stride for a huge gain in the second quarter. And then Gophers. Johnston takes the snap here. Finds the edge and the end zone for a touchdown. And quarterback Adam Rose drops back here. But Chatfield's Mitchell Hinckley is there. Forces a fumble. Red Wing recovers it. It would not be enough for the Wingers, though. The Gophers win big 39-7. And North Iowa High School football teams kicked off tonight, too. Let's take a look at a few of those final scores. The West Hancock Eagles won in a close one over the Garner Hayfield Ventura Cardinals 22 to 20. The Lake Mills Bulldogs shut out the HGWSR Cougars 20 to nothing. 